Hello, thank you for checking out Mr. Ware's videos and today we're looking at segment addition slash subtraction of numbers. We will take a look at some line segments and um, find missing line segment lengths or find a total line segment length. So let's begin. Alright, so here we have two problems here. I'm going to start with the first one. The first one says point V is on the line segment UW. Giving UV is equal to 3 and VW is equal to 6, determine the length of UV, I'm sorry, UW. So they don't give you a, any pictures or anything, it's kind of hard to determine what's what. So the best thing you want to do is start off with draw the picture. So we'll start with the first sentence here where it says point V is on the line segment UW. So it's saying V is on line segment UW. So it's in the middle of it. Uh, so first thing I'm going to do is draw line segment UW and then I'm gonna place V in the middle of it now that gives me a sense of what we're talking about what what is what and everything it's not the exact measurement but I understand that UW is the whole line segment and V is in the middle of it so now I know that I can determine that from U to V plus V to W Will equal the whole thing u to w so uv plus vw equals uw all right now that i know that notice i haven't used any of the numbers at all now i can plug the numbers in and put them exactly where they go so here i have uv is equal to three notice i put three right up under uv and i have vw is equal to six and we're going to add them together, and that's going to equal UW. Now, I don't want you to think every time you see this, oh, that's really, you just do 3 plus 6 every time. Uh -uh. But on this one, we are going to do 3 plus 6, and you get 9. So UW, which is what we was looking for, is equal to 9. All right, so... And the reason you need to draw the picture and everything to make sure you see it is because if you took this and just said, oh, it's the same problem, 3 plus 20, and add it together to get 23, it would be wrong. So you have to pay close attention. So we're going to do the exact same steps we did before. Uh, I'm going to read this one right quick. Point X is on line segment WY, given WX is equal to 3 and YW is equal to 20, okay? And determine the length of XY. And I want to point out something real quick. Notice how... When you put a number with it, it doesn't have the line marking over it. So these are, uh, when you have WY with the line segment over it, it represents the line segment. When you have just WX, it represents the measurement of that line segment. Okay, so w without the line over the letters there, it just represents the value or the length of that line or angle or whatever. All right, so we'll start off by drawing WY. So here's WY. And we'll put point X in the middle of it. Alright, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to say what equals what. So we know W to X plus X to Y is going to equal W to Y. Alright, now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to plug in each one of these values. We've got WX which is 3, and YW, or WY, which is 20. So you make sure you put it on the right thing. So WX is 3, and WY is 20. The one we don't know is XY. So now what we want to do is go ahead and solve for XY, just like we solved for any equation, and we'll subtract 3 on both sides and get 20 minus 3 is equal to 17 so the measurement of XY is 17 and that's it that is segment addition I want to thank you for checking out Mr. Ware's videos have a nice day